this mic. This mic. Hindi, mag, naka-live din ako sa Facebook. Ano? Ano sabi mo? Oo oh, nga, alam ko. Hindi tatahimik sila. Ano mga kare? Nakaano na? Eight minutes. Um, paawit po kayo ha. Nakalive na po tayo. Nakalive na po tayo ha. Lesson na lang po natin yung ating uh, pagkasalita. Uh, Because we are already live on Facebook. Yes po. Tama po, tama po. Uh, how many minutes? Still have eight minutes. Seven minutes. I don't see it. The oceans rise and darkness grows. I will go with you upon the storm. Baka ano na naman yun, eh? Copyright tayo dyan. Welcome po sa ating uh, live BS. Online BS. Online Bible study. We'll start uh, in about Six uh, minutes. Uh, I'm with the music team also right now. Uh, Ching is watching. Helbert is also watching. Lucky. Welcome po. George. Si ano? Antonette Sias at San Pedro. Nanonood din. Welcome po sa ating online broadcast, ang ating Bible study. Six minutes po. Che, magtayo. Welcome po. Kamusta po kayo dyan sa Netherlands? Okay, feedback naman po yung sa ating uh, audio. Kung okay lang po yung ating audio. Kasi last night, uh, somebody told me that it's uh, medyo mahina. Okay naman po.
கண்டிப்பா Uh, on uh, Zoom, we have uh, the music team. Uh, and then si si Bell, si Mami Bu, Kuya Korg, si Ate Sheila, si Maricar, uh, Pastora July, and even Desi. Masa si Child. Uh, Ate Venus. Queen Mami. Above the star. How much time do we have? Para magumpisa, ha? Three minutes po. We will start uh, in three minutes. Inaayos lang po yung mga lighting. Ano po? The oceans rise and thunders roar. I will run. Welcome po. Yeah. Justin, welcome. Good evening po. Che, how are you? From J1 Amsterdam. Salamat uh, Antoinette Sias at San Pedro for the feedback. tayo. Music, pwede po ba tayong magpakanta dyan? Si, nasa si ano? Si Ellie Boy. Ayun, si Ellie. Ellie DJ. Gagawa po mula sa, ano, sa camera. Artistahin eh. Wala, oh, sino mo, kainaman eh. Pa, 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 patugtog naman dyan. Good evening, Ron. Shout out po dyan sa J1 Baguio, Justin. Welcome po sa ating uh, online Bible study. Yeah. George Villacorsa, welcome po. Praise God. God is good po. Baka tayo yung mga copyright dyan bro. Less than a minute or what? One minute. Po. Okay. Eli, anong papakanta mo? Kinaman. Ah, meron. Ayaw. Ito, nakahiga eh. Anong, o siya, pantahin na lang natin kay Bishop para hindi tayo makapiray. Bay, boy lang na nabi sa banal mong pag-ibig. Uy, lumalapit na lang. Ano ba? Yan. Kumuha na ng gita. Praise God. Start na po tayo. Let's pray. Let's pray po. 
Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Yes, Father God, we thank you for this wonderful day. Again, Lord, salamat sa buhay na patuloy mong sinusustain. Araw-araw, Lord, alam namin, Lord, na naandiyan ka palagi, Lord. Hindi mo kami pababayaan sa gitna ng, uh, ng unos na ito. Lord, you are still there. You're still God. You are still our sovereign God. Powerful God, all-powerful, almighty. Salamat po, O Diyos, at um, kami po muli, Lord, sinasamahan. Samahan mo po kami sa gabi pong ito. As we meditate on thy word, as sa aming pong pag-aaral, Lord, bigyan mo po kami ng wisdom, Lord, that we, be, we will be able to understand your words, Lord, ng mas malalim pa. At uh, Lord, ito yung mag-increase ng aming pananampalataya mag-increase ng aming pagmamahal sa iyo, maunawaan ka pa namin, Lord. Salamat po, O Diyos, sa buhay po ng bawat isa na nanunood. Asama ko ngayon, via Zoom, via FB Live, sa mga kapatid kong ito, patuloy mo pong pagpalain ang buhay po ng bawat isa. Mag-glorify ka namin, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. po yung inaawit niya. May is watching. Sige po, awit po tayo. Sige po, awit na po tayo. Somebody speaking. And you put the... Uh, Pamute na lang yun po yung... Okay. Sige po, awit po tayo. Do not forget. Kailangan, kailangan ng buong turuan ako bago. Sumasamo Palakasin ako Pagkat di ko kaya Kung wala ka Kristo Pahabagan ako Ang buhay ko Sa iyo Sa'yo, maglilingkod. Happy. O Panginoon, maglilingkod na pa. Happy kang tulod. Ikaw lamang, Lord, ang kailangan namin sa ganitong pagkakataon, Lord, lalong-lalo na sa ganitong pagkakataon. Ikaw lang ang kailangan namin. Kailangan pa namin, Lord. 
golongan mo po ang turuan mo po kami. Ang makita namin, Lord, ang iyong kabutihan sa gitna ng aming pagbigati, sa gitna ng mga pagsubok na ito. Makita pa rin namin at patuloy kaming manampalataya sa iyo, Diyos. Patuloy kaming lumapit sa iyo. Wala kasi nako pagkat di ko kaya kung wala ka Kristo. Kahabagan nako ang buhay ko sa iyo. Paglini ko sa iyo. Malapit sumasamo, wala kasi nako, pagkat di ko kaya kung wala ka Kristo, kahabagan nako ang buhay ko sa iyo. Ako yung lumalapit. Ako yung lumalapit. Sumasama. Yes, Lord. Maglilingkod kami sa iyo. Patuloy at patuloy kami maglilingkod sa iyo. Sa iyo lamang, Lord, kami maglilingkod. Ikaw lamang, Lord, ang mataas sa aming lahat. Yes, ang buhay po namin, Lord. Inaalay namin sa iyo. You have taken down all the things that is hindering us from serving you, Lord. Thank you, Father God, for giving us, Lord, another chance to serve you more, Lord, upang mas mapagsilbihan ka pa namin, Lord. Mas, ma, ma, mas mapalapit kami sa iyo, Lord. Malapit sa namin, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, sa gabi pong ito. Mga tao, Lord, na nanonood, mga kapatid ko na nanonood, Lord, by FB Live and by Zoom. We pray, Father God, for your uh, uh, presence in this place, oh God, wherever we are, Lord. Samahan mo po kami. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Lord, praise God. Hallelujah. Tayo po ay... Uh, Uh, ito ay pagpapatuloy po ng ating pag-aaral doon sa Gospel of John. So, we started this, as I said, uh, as I mentioned last time, this has been um, our Bible study, Wednesday Bible study for the last, like, uh, I think this is already 10 years. And um, so, we, we we're studying studying right now the book of John at nando na po tayo uh, sa chapter 18. So, we started this this uh, book of John like uh, I think five years ago. And uh, verse by verse po yung pag-aaral na ginagawa namin. So, last 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 week, nakarang linggo po ang atong pong pinag-aralan is about the truth. No, to sa verse 38. John chapter 18, buktan niyo po yung yung Bible, no? John chapter 18, verse uh, 38. Doon po tayo uh, natapos last week. But uh, let's just uh, review a little bit of what uh, we uh, discussed last week. Ang sabi po doon, kung na inyo pong nabuksan ang inyong Biblia, sa John chapter 18, verse 38, Pilate said to him, no, he was speaking to Jesus Christ, What is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again to the Jews and said to them, I find no fault in him at all. Yung po yung sa verse 38. Let me just, itas ko lang po ng kaunti ha, para makuha po natin yung context to, no? Ng ating uh, binasa. Doon sa verse 37 po, 
Ang sabi po, ah, oh, sige, sa 36 po tayo, ano, ah, ano, umpisahan po natin. Para makuha po natin yung konteksto. Bakit ganun ang sabi ni Pilate sa verse 38? Doon po sa verse 36, Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would fight so that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now my kingdom is not from here. Pilate therefore said to him, Are you a king then? Jesus answered, You say rightly that I am a king. For this cause I was born. And for this cause I have come into the world that, that I should be bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. Now, ito na po yung sumunod na verse. Sa verse 38, Pilate said, Pilate said to him, What is truth? Yan po yung pagkakasunod. Ano po? Para... Uh, makuha po natin yung senaryo sa uh, bakit ganun yung sinabi ni ni Pilate and uh, we we discussed last week ano po yung katotohanan no i remember um i think about last year i remember there was an article that came out or even a youtube uh, video that uh, say science has proven the bible to be accurate or to be true or something to that effect no and i remember what i did at that time but you know what i did no i totally ignore and even i did not read it i did not even view when i read yung uh, yung yung sinasabi dun sa title pa lang sa header pa lang na sinasabi na science proved that the bible is true i totally ignore it You know why? Alam niyo po ba kung bakit? Because I believe, no mga kapatid, I don't need science to tell me that the Bible, the Bible is true. I don't really need somebody to tell me or yung mga, yung siyensya magsabi sa amin, sa atin na totoo ang Biblia. What is written in the Bible is impalable. Mga kapatid, it is the word of God. I, we don't need science to tell us. Mga kapatid, it is true. It is the truth. Mga kapatid, mga, ta, dapat po natin tandaan yan. Yun. So, and a lot of, um, usually, yung mga clever people, when you talk about the truth, no, when you talk about the tr- truth, they would, uh, you know, um, ang ang it's it's like a taboo to them it's like a taboo put to them especially about the truth about the word of god it's like a taboo with them they will just um, ano shrug their shoulder and then they will tell you that uh, uh, it's it's uh, it's for old women uh, uh, mga uh, sa sa china nga it's uh, the ang ang term nila sa salita ng Diyos o sa religion no ang paninampalataya is the opium of the masses ibig sabihin ito ay parang uh, gamot lamang gamot lamang no uh, 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 droga ang tawag nila but mga kapatid this is the bible is the truth no, mga kapatid it is wala na pong ibang katotohanan You no, know, when when uh, Pilate ans- asked this question, what is true? You know, he was in a position in power. He was in power during that time. Nasa kapangyarihan siya. Siya po ay governor. Governor po siya. And he knows what money is and what power is. But, you know, there's something missing in him that he asked this question yung tanong na what is truth no and uh, it is like a dream for him to know the truth and unfortunately not all people are are uh, given a chance to know the truth tinyo po ha 
when when you try to share a gospel to some people no they will ano ignore you they will ignore you no kasi nga po ang kasulat din the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing not everyone will be able to handle or even no a given enlightenment to know the truth that's why when we uh, when we try to share the gospel or to share the truth to anyone we pray for them we pray uh, we we try to ask the holy spirit to give them conviction first kasi po ang mangyayari ay they will ano uh, they will um, what do you call this either they will ignore or they will reject so we have to pray for them mga kapatid first kailangan ipagpray po muna nating maingi no oh, it, there are persons around us kahit sa panahon po ngayon there are a lot of persons clever matatalino di po ba but they don't know the truth the truth has been Uh, taken away from them. Hindi po inihayag ang katotohanan sa kanila or hindi nila maintindihan, hindi nila ma-appreciate ang katotohanan. No? Most of these people have grand notions of their abilities. Matatalino talaga. They are, most, have, most people even have PhD. May doctorate. And, um, but for them, Jesus in the gospel are matters for old women lang. Di ba? Usually pag uh, it, it is ano, nakakalungkot po isipin na pag uh, nagkakaedad lang na doon lang tayo nakaka nagkakaroon ng realization sa buhay about katotohanan tungkol sa kay Jesus. Di ba? Kaya makita mo sa mga church yung mga matatanda lang ang halos na ito. But I believe uh, God is moving, especially in what is happening right now sa ating uh, mundo. God is moving. Kaya nga po, we have to really understand. Kaya nga po, ngayon, dapat po nating maintindihan what is the message, what yung, yung nangyayari ngayon nangyayari ngayon, mayroong mong minsa ay po talaga. Gusto ng Diyos, makilala siya, lumapit ang tao sa Kanya. Yun po yun. Most people have already forgotten this, this truth about Jesus Christ. So, yun po yung ating pinag-aralan last time. Kaya po ganun yung tanong ni uh, Pilate daming marami pong may alam pero hindi alam ang katotohanan. Yun po yun. Now, let us go doon po sa ating uh, verse today. Pagpatuloy po natin. No? Doon po sa verse 39, ang uh, John chapter 18 pa rin po tayo, no? Verse 39. Ang sabi, direkto na po natin hanggang 40 ha, hanggang 40. No? At ang sabi po doon, but you have a custom that I, that I should release someone to you at the Passover. Do you therefore want me to release to you the king of the Jews? Then they all cried again saying, not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. Oh. Dito po yung pumasok na si Barabbas. Ulitin po nga natin, basahin ulit. But you have a custom that I should release someone to you at the Passover. Do you therefore want me to release to you the king of the Jews? When they, then they all cried again saying, not this man but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. So yun po yung nangyari. Ang, nung sinabi, ni 
ni uh, nang lumapit si Pilate doon sa mga Jews leader um, at sinabi niya I find no fault in him pero meron kayong custom na kailangan pwede ako mag pwedeng magpalaya ng tao no you know yung magpardon during passover no during passover pwede siyang magpardon but this is not biblical ha it, actually it's not biblical or uh, it is a tradition it is a custom only hindi po siya biblical uh, doesn't mention in the bible that during passover the somebody should be released yung nakakulong should be released hindi wala pong biblical basis yon it's just a custom of the jews that during passover ano ay uh, kaya nga po doon custom lang ang sabi ano po pwedeng magpalabas o magpalaya magpardon ng nakakulong yung po yung sinasabi um, so yung po ang tinanong ni uh, ni Pilate doon sa mga Jewish leader and he was uh, uh, yung, ang binigyan niya po ng option ay itong si Jesus Christ binigyan, binigyan niya po yung option na nandun si Jesus Christ and then in there was this Barabbas. Si Barabbas po was a robber and uh, in some in some books sabi, eh siya po ay uh, may kaso na sedition and murder yun po yung kaso niya. And uh, kung inyo pong titignan, babasahin ulit, ang sabi po, not this man. And they were all referring to Jesus Christ. Not this man. They will not even mention the name of Jesus for fear that they would uh, be, ano, parang ma, uh, madudumihan ang kanilang mga labi pag sinabi nila o minention nila ang pangalan ni Jesus. Ang gusto nilang palayain ay si Barabbas. Now, who is Barabbas? Again, as I said, the Bible, it says he was a robber. Dito pa lang sa 40, it says he was a robber. No? And uh, yung pangalan po niya, actually, from the Greek, yung bar, ibig sabihin son. So, yung abas is father. Ibig sabihin po niyan ay papas boy. In in layman's term, o sa ating ano ano, in sa kolokyal na salita, sa kolokyal na salita, papas boy po ito. O father son. Yung po yung ibig sabihin eh, bar si Simon Bar Jonah. Ibig sabihin po yung bar is son of Jonah. Yung po yun. And in this case, si Barabbas na po, yung pangalan niya pa, Bar Abbas. Bar means son, and then Abbas, Abba, which is father. Tandaan niyo na po. Yun po yung ibig sabihin nun. So, siya po ay Papas Boy. Yun po, sa madaling salita. Uh, I don't know if you're going to make uh, a, um, a some, some people kasi they would make a, uh, para a case for his name. Ba- bakit Barabas yung pangalan? At, uh, well, let me just uh, i-debate muna po natin yung ating pansin doon sa, sa pangalan niya. At the fact that doon po tayo sa fact na why they choose Barabas? People, then these Jews, these people, they were all shouting the name of Barabbas. Barabbas, pinili nila si Barabbas. Barabbas who is, ano, a robber, a murderer. No? And some, sa ibang verse, verse nga po, siya po ay bandit. Eh. So, noong araw po kasi ang tawag talaga sa kanyang bandido. Tulisan sa Tagalog. But they all They all choose Barabbas instead of Jesus. Question is, bakit? Ano ba ang kasalanan ni Jesus na mas pinili ng mga tao si Barabbas? Samantalang kung titignan mo, kung ating pong iintindihin, na itong si Barabbas ay isang tulisan, isang magnanakaw, no? nagte-take advantage ng tao sa pagnanakaw, 
nangunguhan ng hindi kanya, malaki po ang kasalanan niya, clearly. But then people, still people, chose Barabbas instead of Jesus. That is a question. No, I, I, I was asking that question also in my mind. Sabi ko, bakit kaya? Bakit ang mga tao during that time, they would, they have chosen Barabbas instead of Jesus? What did Jesus do during that time? If you will read again the, yung gospel niya, lalo na sa gospel of Mark, no? Yung gospel of Mark, you will see the, the, the works of Jesus Christ. And you will see, ano ba ang ginawa ni Jesus? Nagpalayas ng demonyo, nag, nagpakain ng multitudes, nagpalakad ng pilay, nag, nagbigay ng liwanag sa mga bulag. Diba? Ang mga bingi ay nakakita, na, nakita nyo, bumuhay, even ng patay. Yung talita ko, may yung bata, binuhay niya, even Lazarus. Does that ano, equate na, na kasalanan ba yun? Matindi bang kasalanan yon upang piliin ng mga tao ang makasalanan si Barabbas? Uh, Di ba? Maano nyo eh, even siguro yung tao ng may common sense. I believe during that time may common sense din naman ng mga tao even if they are not learn or hindi sila educated educated i believe they are also ano they have this common sense they because they have seen how Jesus worked during this time ano ang ginawa ni Jesus di ba and ano ang teaching ni Jesus ano ang te- teaching ni Jesus what did Jesus taught people tinuruan niya bang magrebelde ang mga tao no Taught, Jesus taught people to love. ba? Diba? Na magpakumbaba. Tinin po yung Sermon on the Mount. ba? Diba? Ano ba ang tinuro niya? Ano ang teaching niya? Di po ba? Kung makikita nyo, if we're going to read yung, mag, yung kanyang teaching, it's all about, no? Kanyang pagmamahal eh. It's all about the love of the Father. Healing. He healed people. Diba? Kung matatanda nyo yung kanyang, ano, doon sa Luke chapter 4 verse 18, na yun din ang ating, ano, um, anong covenant verse. Uh, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And, and this is the same that Jesus has um, uh, said. When he was asked, sabi niya, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind. Set at liberty them that are bruised and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Pero mo, yun yung kanyang ginagawa, yung kanyang teaching, and yet, these people have chosen Barabas instead. What? Why? Diba? Dapat po nating itanong yon. Dapat po nating maintindihan yon. You know, nung ako ay, nung aking uh, pinagninilay-nilayan po ang verse na ito, ito po lagi dapat nating maintindihan, mga kapatid, na, na lahat ng salita, all scriptures, mga kapatid, there is, is meant to teach us, admonish us, rebuke us. Ito po ay talagang dapat makita natin ang pagtuturo sa atin at ang pagmamahal ng Diyos. Dapat po natin laging masalamin ito, mga kapatid. Kaya even at this conversation, at even at this point na kung saan pinili ng mga tao si Barabbas instead of Jesus Christ, may room dapat po tayong matutunan. May room dapat po tayong makita 
na gustong ituro sa atin ng Diyos. Maintindihan natin itong punto na ito, mga kapatid. Now, what is the point I'm trying to make? No, so what is the reason? Why did they choose Barabbas? Okay? Uh, baka po may gusto kong sumagot. May gusto kong sumagot. Ito po ay, eh, even today, at this, uh, uh, sa ating kapanahunan po, still, still the same. Ganun pa rin po ang dahilan. Ganun pa rin po ang nangyayari. Ano po yung reason? Di ba? When you try to share the gospel of Jesus Christ, Anong gagawin? They would ignore. They will look at you with this thing. Di ba? Titignan ka na para bang mula ulo hanggang pa. Mga kapatid, the true reason of their hate lay in the natural hatred of all men to perfect goodness. It is because Jesus Christ was perfect. He did not sin. And when people saw, when people, no, uh, parang nasalamin nila yung kanilang sarili sa sa buhay ni Kristo, sa mga ginagawa, sa pag sa pag pangaral ni Kristo, nasa masasalamin mo eh, ang buhay mo eh, makikita mo yung agwat eh. And These people, a lot of people, even up to this day, they will be offended. Kaya ang sakot nila, usually nila, ang righteous mo naman. Di ba? Ang righteous. Because they are offended na doon sa buhay po nila, na mumu- lalo na kung if you are living in a lie, and you see the truth, and you realize that it is the truth, and you see it in front of you, diba, para bang it's left in the face sa kanila eh. This is what happened. That's why these people have chosen Barabbas. Yung their own. Para kaparehas din nila. Kasi, di ba? It's like when they saw Jesus, they were slapping their face. Parang sinampal ang kanilang mga pisngi, muka. No? Kaya po ganun ang kanilang pag, uh, pagka, parang pagkamuhi, eh, yung hatred nila. Eh. Man feels that the presence of goodness is a silent witness against their own sin. Yun po yung katotohanan. The presence of goodness is a witness to man's sin. Yun po yung totoo. Kaya ang gusto niya, tanggalin. Iwasan. Gusto niya, ibaon sa hukay. Ipako sa krus. Kaya po ganun ang nangyari. When people were confronted were confronted by the truth and a lot of people are living in a lie, di ba? They wanted to bury him, to crucify him. That they will not even mention his name. Ito po yung nangyari. And this is happening even until now. Maraming tao, when you ask them, ay, busy ako, may ginagawa ako, ay, pagod ako, ay, alam ko na yan, mabait naman ako. Okay ba? Wala naman akong gini-AGO. Okay ba? 
Well, at the back of their mind, they will they are looking at you with disdain or parang hello. Mga kapatid, to be too holy in the judgment of men is a great crime for it rebukes their sin. Yun po yung katotohanan. Sabi po doon sa, let me just uh, 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 read this verse. Actually, we have studied this earlier, uh, before. Yung mga ano po, In, uh, basahin ko lang po sa inyo. I, I, it just came into my mind. Why? No. Um, why? Why the world hates us? Because we are not of this world. Uh, uh, what do you mean by that? Um, I'm trying to find it. Uh, Yon, sa John chapter 16, uh, 15, verse 18 po, ang sabi po doon, if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. Yet, because you are not of the world, but I choose you out of the world, therefore, the world hates you. Yun po yung nakasulat. No? Di po ba? Again, brothers and sisters, I encourage you na patuloy po tayo sa ating pagsiserve sa Lord. This, uh, this is the price that we, this is the burden, mga kapatid, that the Lord is asking us to bear. No? We, we cast all our burdens unto Him. At uh, mayroong gusto rin kapasan sa atin. But, but He's, ano sabi niya, uh, he will give us a yoke for us to carry. Ito po yung price that we have to pay for being Christian. The world will hate us because the world hated him first. Sana po uh, tayo po ay sa ating pong pangnilay-nilay uh, ng uh, Especially this this week, I think it's Holy Week, right? And kung uh, pisampu natin dito sa sa kanyang uh, hindi kasi people usually start with the via via Dolorosa po yun. Huh? Yung sa ano yung Passion of Christ. Passion of Christ actually starts doon sa kanyang trial. Starts with the trial. No, even pa nga doon sa bago pa siya, ano, doon siya garden, sa Garden of Gethsemane where he, he prayed. This is just a small price na kailangan natin ano, i-bear mga kapatid. The world will hate us. Normal po yan. Because we are carrying the truth. Pero wag po tayong panghinaan, wag po tayong tumigil sa pag-share. Pag-pray po natin sila. Pag-pray po natin ang mga tao, lalo na sa ganitong panahon na magkaroon sila ng kaliwanagan, na, na kaawaan sila. But the Lord will have mercy upon 
each and every person na makita nila magkaroon silang realization conviction again brothers and sisters I encourage you continue lang po tayo patuloy lang po tayo we should uh, this all these things that is happening around us should not uh, discourage us from doing the work that God has given us. We find a way. God will find a way. Binibigyan tayo ng way ng Lord upang ano, gawin po ito. And it's a great privilege serving Him. Ang sabi po niya, uh, his, kingdom, his, kingdom, his kingdom is not of this world. Ayo po ba? Ayo po ba? Where do we belong? Which kingdom do we belong? Christ kingdom or this world? If you are, you belong to Jesus kingdom, that means he is the king of your life. He is the king of your everything. We submit to His authority. We submit to His kingship. Hindi sa sarili natin. Amen po ba? Sige po, let us pray. Yes, Father God, we thank you sa gabing ng ito. Sa pagtuturo sa amin, sa pagmi-minister sa amin, Lord. Sa pagbibigay sa amin ng encouragement, Lord, ng wisdom to understand your word. Salamat po, O Diyos, sa protection mo, Lord. Patuloy mo, Lord, na kami po ay gamitin. Let your uh, presence be always upon us, O God. Anoint our lips, O God. Anoint our lips so that we may be able to share your word effectively, Lord, that people will, will accept, Lord. We pray, Father God, for all the peoples that we will uh, approach, that they will accept you, Lord. As their Lord and Savior. Patuloy, Lord, na mangusap ka, Lord, sa buhay po ng bawat isa, sa puso, Lord, nino man, sino man na aming makakausap, Lord. Use our life, O oh God. Use our life, Lord. Ikaw ang aming ama, ikaw ang aming hari, Lord. We belong to your kingdom. And we have chosen, Lord, you, or you have chosen us first. You have chosen us. Salamat po, O Diyos, sa pagmamahal. Salamat po, Lord, sa provisions mo, Lord. Salamat po to you, Lord, all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody says, Amen and Amen. Again, I would like to invite everyone um, sa ating pong uh, uh, sa Friday po. Bukas may devotion man po ang music ministry, ano po. We have online preaching. Uh, Pastor Ashikaina will be uh, at the helm, at the pulpit. Siya po ang magpipreach on Friday. At uh, again, thank you po sa bawat isa. I declare blessings upon blessings sa buhay po ng bawat isa. Provisions ng Lord. Philippians 4.19 po sa inyo. Tanggapin niyo po in Jesus' name. Receive it in Jesus' name. God bless everyone.